very pleased to be joined now by Luke Boyd, otherwise known as Classified. He is a hip-hop artist from Nova Scotia. Back on the road after a yeah. pretty quiet year last year. How does it feel to be back? It's good, man. It's good. We're about two weeks into the tour, and people have been coming out, showing a lot of love. So it's good, man. It's been a, it's been almost three years since like my own headlining club tour, whatever you want to call it. So it's good to be back. Do you get nervous when you're away for that amount of time, and then you come back? Do you do you, do you worry about I've, people still being there? Um, I never actually ever went away that long before. Like this was the first time I ever kind of said, okay, I'm just gonna kind of stop touring for the year work on this new record, Grateful, that I've been working on, and just hang with the kids. So, no, I, I wasn't really, I didn't think it was that long of a time, but honestly, the difference between even this album and the, and the last album, which was two, three years ago, just the industry with streaming and everything, it's mm -hmm. quite a different game now. So yeah, I'm definitely playing catch up a little bit to kind of get back into that thing, but. It changes fast, Yeah, it, it does, man, it moves quick. Now you're visiting the Kootenays with stops in Cranbrook and Nelson this time. Yeah. Uh, the new album you mentioned, Grateful, it's right here. Uh, talk about the name. It's grateful, spelt uh, G R E A T. Yeah, I always try to put a flip on it. Like it's, you know, I'm grateful for what I get to do, but at the same time, the whole meaning of the album name was, you know, to try to be great, whatever that is for you. For me, it was like trying to get my music out there, to be able to tour and to support myself off music. That was kind of, you know, what I was chasing. You know, to me, that would be a, a great situation. So it's like a mix of that. It's you know, try to ch chase your your dream or whatever it is that, you know, is going to make you a great person and being grateful for it if you get there. The heavy air wears a crown, but it's never going to bring me down because I don't need it. I don't need it. You have uh, some pretty cool guest appearances on this record, um, most notably uh, Brett Emmons from The Glorious Sons. Yeah. He's a cool dude, isn't he? Super cool dude, He's man. been on the show here. And, of course, Snoop Dogg. The D O Double G. How did you? G, the how do you go about getting Snoop Dogg on your record? Um, well, me and Stu played some shows together over the last like five years. We probably played four or five shows together. So we met a few times, but it was never like we never hung out or nothing. It wasn't like personal. And then uh, our management talked. I'm a big fan of Snoop. I had this song, and I was like, I want something from the West Coast. And I was like, man, who, who better than Snoop Dogg? <laughs> you know, it was a kind of let's just try it, see what happens. Then he ended up coming to Nova Scotia. And we did the song in Nova Scotia. And, so now that you've got Snoop on this record, who do you want to work with next? You've you've worked with. Uh, there's really no one else. Like there's not like that one person that I'm like. Oh, obviously, I'd love to do something with the Jay Zs, the Eminems, the Nas's. You know, I'm a '90s kid, like so. Red Man, like guys in that mm -hmm. era that I grew up on. I'm a big fan of those guys still. But Paul McCartney, uh, so Chili Peppers, watching, Paul, Paul McCartney. McCartney I know you're watching, Paul. He watches um, this show a lot. Uh, You'd be I've surprised. heard. I've heard him. I've seen a tweet about it. PPR is it? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. But uh, no, I'm a fan of music, man. So I like doing stuff that's left field. Like, there's a lot of rappers I'd like to work with, but there's some, you know. You did something with Jim Cuddy as well. Jim Cuddy, man. David Miles, Rhea May. I produce her stuff. So it's it's cool. I love doing different types of music that's not necessarily rap or hip hop, but I can still use that hip hop foundation of like the drums and stuff like that for the, for the record. I'm a train wreck, rain check, I done told ya. These late nights and early mornings soon gotta go. Guess I can't expect to hit the highs and not the lows. And your best uh, Nova Scotia accent. Give us your, your pitch for the album. This is it right here. If you know what it's about, go get it. <laughs> Classified, grateful. Yeah. Out in a boot. Out in a boot. Class, thanks. Still fluting. Thanks so much for doing this. All good. Best of luck and uh, hope to do it again sometime. Thank you.